racetrack, let me tell you. Thank you very much for that, uh, Layla. When we talk about horses, we naturally think on a day like this about the Derby horses and the Cups horses going round uh, on such a, a carnival festival sort of day like today at Flemington. But horses can also be used in therapy. And since 2003, a program called the Brumby Camp has been helping troubled teenagers. Weekend Today's Ellie Walsh reports. <laughs> It's a chilly morning in Carrick, two hours south of Sydney. The cool and cleansing countryside, a long way from the harsh city back streets, these four have come to know so well. Dunker, Fredo, Kyle and Jojo are from disadvantaged backgrounds and struggle to find focus in life. And these boys come with a lot of shame. They might not admit that, but we know they're embarrassed about sometimes who they are and don't feel comfortable in our society. That's where Greg Powell's Kalandon Foundation steps in. They call it Mountain Mending, a place where wild Brumbies can help tame troubled teens. It's helped my life because, like, back in Sydney, like, I do, like, like, other stuff, like, bad stuff and that. Like, ever since I come here, like, my, like, my behaviour has changed. Do you like getting out of the city and coming up here? Yeah, it's better. Better than what? better than getting in trouble by the police. The property is a refuge for both horse and human. Like holding one's an old classic, you know, she's just a beautiful old horse that had the bullet hole in the ear from the near miss in a cull. And the kids love her. They feel like she's the bit of a reject or she's a trouble, that she's hunted. And so they bond up and it, it seems to really work. Each morning starts with a roundup. OK, fellas, we're going to come through this top gate first and shut that gate, and uh, then we'll get them sorted out in that square yard and start working the round yard. All good? Good. Then it's on to one-on-one -on -one work. Walk in. Walk in. OK, pick up the foot. Keep going. Keep trying. If you realise that when you quit, yeah. you're teaching her to do what she's doing. Teaching her to keep doing it. Yeah. You've got to not quit. I heard a few comments from people, um, gee, I expected these things to be a lot wilder and a lot crazier. You know, you think of it, the wild Brumby, you know. They're not wild and crazy. It's how they're managed can cause them to be wild or crazy, you know. And it's similar to the kids. We keep on waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. At the end of the day, the group unwinds around the campfire. What old Jack Thompson said to me once, and that is the horse is like a mirror. If you're not getting on with the horse, it means you're probably not getting on with yourself. I wouldn't hit the horse because I, like, because I hurt it. I wouldn't like somebody hit me. So through learning respect for the horse, you're also learning respect for yourself and other people. Yeah. And by taking control of these wild brumbies, the kids are taking control of their own lives. Horse, and never like hate you or something. And friends, they always, sometimes they hate you. Just good to have a horse in life. It's good to have a horse in life. Yeah. They've got a beautiful spirit, horses, and it's good to see them bringing out the nice spirit in troubled teenagers. And that foundation's a beauty. If you'd like to help, uh, check on uh, to our website and you'll be able to get more details about how you can help them out. Really nice story. Yeah. Coming up, fashion's on the field. It's not just about the racing, it's about what the women are wearing. We're going to come back with some of that after the break. You know, you know, you know.